Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to the Disc 1 finale of Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon! Well, last time we took care of Kangol, so now it's time to take out Emperor Dole himself. Uh, one change that I've made to my equipment setup since last time was I equipped Dart with the Chainmail because it has better magic defense, and magic defense is definitely way more important. Also, make sure you've got the material shield from the chest over there. As long as we're here, we might as well pick it up, and it's pretty useful. Uh, we just took the elevator. Or we could have flown up here as dragoons, either or. Oh, is that like life stream stuff, or what? Holy cow! Well, yeah, he's on the throne. Do you remember me? The guy you've been waging war against and trying to brutally murder? Really? How do you think he wouldn't remember you? I mean, you did, like, have a peace treaty or something, or at least something going on for a little while, right? Carlo is... If you don't remember, Carlo is Albert's dad, as well as Do Emperor Dole's brother. Because he wanted to take over the world? Or because you wanted to have power too? What do you mean by that? You're not going to tell us, are you? Yeah, I don't think that's going to work out too well. And now you're going to give birth to your death. Oh, what, weren't you the one that wanted her? Who wants her, anyway? No one, apparently. Well, except Lloyd, I guess. What do you mean by that? What do you mean a moon that never sets? You're not going to tell us about that either. What, you mean the other guy with the sword isn't the real bad guy? Huh. And then I wonder, why is everyone talking about him then? Yeah, that's kind of strange. Uh, the reality of your death. Well, yeah, that is the general idea. For boss time! I would not recommend bringing Albert to this fight. Yes, he does have Rose Storm, and that is pretty good, but his magic defense sucks horribly. And Emperor Dahl is lightning elemental, so we can't even take advantage of an elemental weakness with Shana or anything like that. Now, if I wanted to finish this fight a little faster, I could have... Oh, yeah, let's use the material shield on um, Rose there. I could have Dart using the Volcano Edition to deal more damage. Volcano! But I would rather have Dart start practicing his Crush Dance edition. So that's why I've got him working on that. But yeah, definitely get the Material Shield on Rose because, well, at this point, Emperor Dole is going to be using mostly physical attacks. And, well, Rose has the worst physical defense of my party members right now. So that might help her out a bit. Furious Ticks! I don't know what he's saying. Okay. Yeah, now we can start going on the offense there. I am not especially concerned about developing Rose's editions because she's going to learn... If she doesn't learn another edition for a while... I'm actually not that concerned about Dark's editions either, for the same reason. 
Dart probably won't learn another edition until, like, the end of Disc 2, practically. Hashel, on the other hand, has plenty of editions to work on, and he learns them much faster. So that's why I gave Hashel the Bandit's Ring, even though he already has more base speed than Dart does. If someone needs healing, I'll probably have Rose do that. But alright, that's pretty much it for Phase 1. I think that's pretty much it for all of his physical attacks. What the? Well, he's a Power Ranger too. I mean, uh, Dragoon. Also. Oh, cow. I'm still going to stick with my regular additions instead of using my Dragoon forms because of something else that he does in Phase 2 of the fight here. Fortunately, one of the advantages of bringing Hashel along is that Emperor Dole has a lot of, well, Thunder Elemental spells, and since Hashel is also Thunder Elemental, he'll just take less damage from it regardless. Whereas if you had Albert in your party, he would take a lot of damage. I mean, Emperor Dole could probably one-shot him if you didn't give Albert Rose Storm, or if it, like, wears off, or if you gave Albert, say, the physical ring. If I were using him in this fight, I would definitely give him the physical ring. I should probably change the camera angle. That is not working out. I am surprised that I am hitting my additions that well. But I have had a lot of practice. Yeah, at this point, I'm I'm gonna have to go with the ass cam here. Maybe Hashel's saying furious dicks. I mean, he's. Look at him. He's furious and, well, he's a dick. I don't know. Furious sticks! No? I'm just screwing around with the pronunciation. I would go with flurry of sticks. At least that's what he's saying. Maybe fairy of sticks might make more sense, but I don't think that that's not what he's saying. Whatever. Eh, we're not doing too bad. I would like to get him into the yellow on his HP before the next phase of the fight, if I can. But so far, we are not doing a good job. Yeah, this fight, it's going to take a while, no matter what you do. I mean, it's an end of this boss fight. What do you expect? It should take longer to finish him. Uh oh. Okay, and this is, well, sort of phase three of the fight where he sets up that barrier. Fortunately, I got his HP down below 50%, but before he did that. But yeah, he's going to basically be immune to everything you do for the next four turns. So. There's really nothing you can do about that. You can't even use your additions on him. It'll be like you missed. So you might as well just defend, which also does reduce some of the damage of his magical attacks. Not to mention regenerating some of your HP. And he has obscenely long spell animations. And this is just a sample of what the game has to offer. <laughs> I think I must have been fighting him like 20 minutes the first time I was facing him. Now, let's see. Hmm. I think I'll have Hashel use a healing potion, maybe? Yeah, let's use that on Dart, because Hashel, if he's not defending, he will be okay with whatever damage Dull can deal to him. But if it becomes necessary... You might want to use one of those healing breezes. 
This is why I've been saving them all this time. Because he just deals so much damage to your entire party at once. You're not going to be able to keep up with it with just healing potions sometimes. Ugh. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. We're fine. But I would wait until everyone's HP gets below 50% or in the yellow there. Before using one of those healing breezes. One of the, the reason why I wanted to get Emperor Dole below 50% of his HP before he set up that barrier is so that way I'll have a really good chance of killing him before, I mean, the, the barrier will eventually drop and I will have a very good chance of being able to kill him before he can set up the barrier again. Hopefully. I'm not 100% sure about how his AI scripts work. I just know what attacks he's got and pretty much all of them are magical attacks. And now we can just go all out. And as long as I keep connecting on my additions, I should be pretty good. Unfortunately, as you can see there, even though the Beast Fang can potentially stun an enemy, bosses are immune to that. Same thing with the Fear Status that Rose could otherwise potentially inflict. So, yeah, it's just basically raw damage, healing, make sure you uh, stop attacking when he's got that barrier up. And that's pretty much all you need to the fight there. Oh, that's just a single targeting one. I was like, whoa. Yeah, he, he seems to use his single targeting attacks more when his barrier is... Uh, what is it? When his barrier is down. But anyway, yeah, I'm just going to keep on going all out at this point. If I get his HP into the red, but Dart is still get, or getting low on HP, I will probably just keep on going because I've almost got him. But it's kind of a judgment call thing. I mean, if he was just dropped down into the red HP, yeah, I'd probably have Hashel throw a healing potion at Dart there. I am surprised I'm able to hit these additions while talking at the same time. Just a lot of practice, I guess. I mean, in RPGs and things like that. I remember when doing the Final Fantasy XIII LP, holy cow, I had a hard time doing all that stuff at once. I'm reminded of a quote I heard in Star Trek. Do not mistake composure for ease. Just because I've beaten this game several times doesn't mean that it's still... I'm still getting nervous when I'm doing these additions here. But yeah, like I said, at this point, I'm just going to go all out. I'd say it's pretty unlikely that he'll be able to kill Dart, and even if he does, I'll be nearly done with the fight anyway. Hmm. I am getting a little nervous. <laughs> now, Dole's probably going to get one more turn before I can kill him. Or not! Hey, hey! Alright! Flawless victory! I mean, flawless is in the additions that I was doing, not the damage I was taking. I'm surprised I've hit, I hit every one of those additions. Even though they are relatively simple. Still, I like the music here.
I'll be honest, for some reason, that scene gets me a little more emotional than even Lavitz's death. It's got to be the music, though. I mean, obviously, you know, hey, I don't feel sorry for Emperor Dole. He got what he he was asking for, or what he had coming to him, his comeuppance, or whatever. But, I don't know, I just, the, the music I think they used was better here. I almost kind of feel sorry for him, though. Not quite, but almost. Well, yeah, that usually happens when you die. Well, all right, we saved, well, not the world, but the country. I mean, that's pretty much all we really cared about. So let's pack up our bags and go home. Yep. We're all going to split up from here. What do you mean? What do you mean we've still got three discs to go? And the final disc is not just the final dungeon and ending cutscenes, no. Well, yeah, that's, well, it started when I hit new game, but, yeah. Yeah, I wonder what he wanted with her anyway. I mean, he seems to, I guess, leaving us alive. I mean, he could have just killed us way back at Helena, probably. And he was saying earlier, like, they're in the palm of my hand. Maybe it's just like all good JRPGs, where even when the bad guy has the opportunity to kill you, they don't because they're really trying to manipulate you into what it is they want you to do. Eh, I wouldn't worry about that. Probably just random superstition. Sounds like a plan. Well, what? You're not even going to tell her? No, no, it's too dangerous. Uh, I guess Dart has finally realized, yeah, it's a but that must situation. How powerful could the moon gem possibly be? Oh, yeah. Uh, Tiberoa, Tiberoa, Ti Tiberia, Tiberoa. Tiberoa? I don't know. However you want to pronounce it. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Oh, well, thank you. I wonder why she's so interested in us. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever works for you, Rose. <laughs> what do you mean? You don't like her? Well, I guess you do have similarly colored clothes. Uh, I guess he's gonna go off looking for his daughter. And we'll never see him again. What's going on? Oh yeah, that thing did kind of just fly off and do nothing. Does it mean he finally gets his dragoon spirit? Spoiler alert, he does! Because he has the proper colored clothing, I guess. And, well, Rose already has a dragoon spirit. Hooray! So now Hashel can start accumulating SP, gaining dragoon levels, and all that stuff, just like everyone else in the game has. But all right, yeah, so whenever you finish up one of the discs, they give you an opportunity to save before asking you to switch discs. But what can we learn about our world in the western country of Tiberoa? Find out on disc two of Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.